Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. It's Nikki here, and this channel is where I share my love of all things paper crafting. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know I have been showing you cheap and easy ways to decorate a junk journal. And I have a playlist, JJJ30, where you can see all the videos of the things that have been created. And today we're up to episode 24. And I wanted to show you some quick and easy ways to use up scraps to make some tabs for your journal. They're always pretty when you have things sticking out the sides. Of course, you can use simple things like strips of lace and stuff like that. I've sort of gone through my stash and found a few other interesting little ways you can add interest to the side of your journal. So let's have a look and I will show you what I have been up to. So this is the first one. As you can see, it's a simple butterfly. Now, a lot of us junk journalists seem to have an abundance of butterflies in our stash. So all I did was I cut this one in half because I could have just folded it in half, but then if you glue it down the other way, it doesn't look as nice. So what I did, I just cut the butterfly in half and then I stuck the two sides together. So there's a little pretty butterfly on the edge. The next one, this one here, is simply, it's a little scrap of fabric, two of them, and it had been coffee dyed. I grabbed the stamps out, I popped a B on each side, and then glued it down. I like the frayed edge, and with it nicely glued, I don't think it'll fray anymore, but that's a great way to use up little scraps of fabric. Then the next one, this one here, I had a roll of this in my stash. Just instead of lace, it's something a little bit different that you can put down the edge of a page. So anything that you've got in a strip, you can pop down the edge. Then this one here, very simple again. I found this little sheet that was made up of all these cute little tiles that they're meant to look like so I just cut out two and then glued that down see very simple just look at go through your stash and and just look for small things that can be paired up and then glued down to make a tab this is two little flowers they're oh, come on come in a long strip but I just cut off two glued one on each side that's a cute little tab then of course making clusters this is a really great way to use scraps I've got a little bit of music paper except this was on cardstock and I find with clusters I do like it if the base piece is a little bit thicker a little bit sturdier but it doesn't matter there's a little bit of book page here this is a little <laughs> this is a little bit of oh, paint and stamping I had a whole sheet of that so I just tore a piece off a little piece of grid paper a tiny little scrap of white lace which I just put some distress oxide on to make it um, a little bit more vintage looking and of course this cute little moth so when you stick them on your page don't just stick some of it hanging over the edge um, I thought this was handy. This I put this paper in here, but there's not that much you can do with it. It's very flimsy, but this way it sort of makes that sort of quite solid because you're giving it um, something thick to hold it down. Then on the back here, I've just I found this little strip. I have no idea where it came from, and that's just to protect the edge. And I used roll-on glue instead of a wet glue because I thought the paper might disintegrate if I used wet glue and I had a little bit that stuck over the edge so I just popped that down there then let's see then the next one if you have any pretty or you can use any punches this is one of my favorite ones I got it at a big crafty stash and I absolutely adore it 
So I found a cute little scrap and I cut out two of them. Now, of course, when you just remember, if you're cutting out an odd shape, you need to cut one with the patterned side up first, then flip it over to cut the other one so that you end up with two pieces that will back together perfectly. So grab your punches out and some scraps. You can make them any shape, any size. I love that one. Where's the next one? Here we go. Again, a tiny little scrap. This was a border on a sheet of scrapbooking paper. I just cut two out and glued them down. See, very simple. Just look for pretty little things. Then the next one, embossed paper. If you have any in your stash, cut it out in any shape you like. I just went with a circle, just mainly because on this page when I did it, I've got these circle shapes happening. And I loved the pale pink. I thought it was a perfect match. So I just cut it out into circle shapes. That makes an easy tab. And uh, where's the last one? Nothing beats a little piece of lace. It doesn't have to be put down the whole edge. You can just use a tiny little scrap and have that bit sticking out. And just a little hint here, if you're making a junk journal and you like sort of a more vintage look without actually having to rust staples, I use a permanent marker. This is my Sharpie in bronze or copper or whatever color it's called. If you rub over your staples with one of these, it gives it this lovely sort of coppery colour. And I find that much more appealing than using silver ones. So what I do is I actually grab the stick of the fresh staples and I do a few at a time and my stapler is loaded with that because I like that colour better than silver anyway. So that's just a little handy hint for you. So there we go. Just go through your scraps. You can use anything to make pretty tabs. And I just find that very visually appealing. And I've used up all sorts of little scrappy things. So I hope you found this episode helpful. Grab your stash, start gluing things in, and bam, you have a really interesting looking edges. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.